Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Playing with Power MTG, where we play with the most powerful cards in the most powerful formats. Tonight's game is brought to you by TCGPlayer.com, where you can find all of your cards online while still supporting local game stores, Dragon Shield for all of the best accessories to protect your decks, and through Patreon, where you get awesome benefits for your direct support. For tonight's game, we are once again playing with one of the best artists in all of MTG, and a great friend of Playing with Power, Jesper Icing. Backed by popular demand, Jesper is back to sling some spells with the Playing With Power team. We would encourage you to support Jesper by checking out some of the links below and purchasing some of his playmats, prints, tutorials, and more. Also, check out his social media, links are in the description. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Zack, piloting Kess, Dissident Mage. This is a mid-range deck with a variety of ways to close out games such as Ad Nauseam, Underworld Breach, and Mnemonic Betrayal. His opening hand contains a Misty Rainforest, Winds of Rebuke, Chrome Mox, Dark Confidant, Flusterstorm, Gamble, and a Red Elemental Blast. Next, we have Mike piloting the partner pair of Krom, Ludovic's Opus, and Tevish Zat, Doom of Fools. This is a proactive deck that seeks to cast Ad Nauseam as fast as possible. If stopped, it relies heavily on the card draw both commanders generate. His opening hand contains a Tarnished Citadel, Demonic Consultation, Talisman of Dominance, Fel Warstone, Mox Opal, Lotus Petal, and his London Mulligan is a Cloud of Fairies. After that, we have Adam, piloting Riel, the Everwise. This is a mid-range deck that leverages Riel for huge card draw payoffs while controlling the board. His opening hand contains a Mountain, Wooded Foothills, Cephalid Colosseum, Pyroblast, Muddle the Mixture, Pyroclasm, and a Force of Negation. Finally, we have Jesper, piloting the partner pair of Thrasios Triton Hero and Rograk, son of Rogah. This is another custom deck from Jesper. This is a mid-range deck that is all about mana. His opening hand contains a Volcanic Island, Springleaf Drum, Soul Ring, Trophy Mage, Flusterstorm, Mountain, and a Forest. Without further ado, let's begin this venomous, vicious, villainous, valiant, vast vault of vigor. Zack wins the MTG Twitter scavenger hunt and gets to start us off. Zack draws a card for turn and plays a Misty Rainforest. He casts a Chrome Mox, imprinting Winds of Rebuke. He cracks Misty Rainforest, pays one life, and fetches up an Underground Sea onto the battlefield. He casts a Dark Confidant. Zack passes. Mike draws a card for turn and plays a Tarnished Citadel. He casts a Mox Opal. He casts a Lotus Petal. He cracks his Lotus Petal to cast Felwar Stone. Mike ends the turn. Adam draws a card for turn and plays a Wooded Foothills. He cracks it, pays one life, and fetches up a Volcanic Island onto the battlefield. He passes to Jesper. Jesper draws a card for turn and plays a Volcanic Island. He casts his commander, Rograk, son of Rogah. He plays a Springleaf Drum. He taps Rograk and Springleaf to cast Soul Ring. Jesper passes. During his upkeep, Zack reveals Exotic Orchard through Dark Confidant. He draws and plays Exotic Orchard. Zack casts Gamble. He fetches up a card into his hand and then discards a card at random, which is a Limduel's Vault. He casts Ponder. He looks at the top three, rearranges, and draws a card. He passes to Mike. Mike draws and casts a Talisman of Dominance. He casts a Wishclaw Talisman. He ends the turn. Adam draws and plays an Island. He chooses to hold open mana and passes to Jesper. Jesper draws and plays a Forest. He casts his other commander, Thrasios, Triton Hero. He casts a Trophy Mage. Trophy Mage enters, and Jesper fetches up a Clownstone Curio into his hand. He ships the turn to Zack. During his upkeep, Zack reveals a Mox Opal through Dark Confidant. Still in his upkeep, he casts Vampiric Tutor. He fetches up a card onto the top of his library, and then loses two life. He draws and casts Mox Opal. He casts a Mana Crypt. Zack passes the turn. Mike draws, and then activates Wishclaw Talisman. Mike fetches up a card into his hand, and then gives the Talisman to Adam. He casts a Dockside Extortionist. It enters, and then Mike creates six treasures. He sacrifices the treasures to cast his commander, Krom, Ludovic's Opus. He moves the combat and attacks Zack with Krom. Zack takes four, and then Mike passes. Adam draws and plays a mountain. He casts Gilded Drake. It enters and then targets Krom. In response, Mike casts Deflecting Swat, changing the target of Gilded Drake to Thrasios. Adam then gains control of Thrasios, and Jesper gains control of the Gilded Drake. Adam ends his turn. Jesper draws and plays an island. He moves to combat and attacks Zack with Gilded Drake and Trophy Mage. Zack declares no blocks and takes 5. In his second main phase, Jesper casts a Mana Vault. He casts Cloudstone Curio. Krom triggers and Mike draws. Adam responds to the Cloudstone Curio by casting Force of Negation, exiling Muddle the Mixture. Cloudstone Curio is countered and exiled. With his plans foiled, Jesper passes to Zack. During his upkeep, Zack reveals Grim Monolith through Dark Confidant, loses 2 life, and then puts it into his hand. Still in his upkeep, he loses his Mana Crypt flip and takes 3 damage. He draws and casts Grim Monolith. He casts a Felwar Stone. Krom triggers and Mike draws. Zack casts Ad Nauseam. 
In response, Jesper casts Flusterstorm with all copies targeting ad nauseum. Zack responds with a Flusterstorm of his own, with each copy targeting one of Jesper's Flusterstorm. Jesper pays two of Zack's Flusterstorms and then his remaining two copies of Flusterstorm counter ad nauseum. With the stack resolved, Zack shifts the turn to Mike. Mike draws and plays a training center. He casts Chain of Vapor, targeting his Dockside Extortionist. In response, Jesper casts a Braid, dealing three damage to Dockside, killing it. Chain of Vapor fizzles, and Mike follows up by casting Thassa's Oracle. In response, Adam casts Pyroblast, countering the Oracle. With his win attempt in shambles, Mike moves to combat. He attacks Zack with Krom. Zack takes the hit, and Mike ends his turn. Adam draws and plays a Cephalid Coliseum. He casts Rhystic Study. Adam passes. During his draw step, Jesper takes a damage from Mana Vault. He plays a Mountain. He moves to combat and attacks Adam with Gilded Drake and Mike with Trophy Mage. Unfortunately, Jesper is out of gas, so he passes to Zack. During his upkeep, Zack reveals a Polluted Delta through Dark Confidant. Still in his upkeep, he loses his Mana Crypt Flip and takes 3 damage. He draws and plays a Polluted Delta. He cracks it, pays a life, and then fetches up a Volcanic Island onto the battlefield. He casts his Commander, casts Dissident Mage, Pain for Rhystic Study. He casts Ponder from his Graveyard through Cast, Pain for Rhystic Study again. Krom triggers, and Mike draws a card. Zack looks at the top 3, doesn't like what he sees, and shuffles. He draws a card, and ends his turn. Mike draws and casts his other commander, Tevish Zot, Doom of Fools, Pain for Rhystic Study. He activates Tevish's first ability and creates two Thrall tokens. He ships the turn. Adam draws and casts his commander, Riel the Everwise. Adam ends his turn. During his draw step, Jesper takes a damage from Mana Vault. He casts a Felwar Stone. Jesper moves to combat and attacks Adam with Gilded Drake. Adam takes the damage, and Jesper passes to Zack. During his upkeep, Zack reveals a Simeon Spirit Guide through Dark Confidant. Still in his upkeep, he wins his Mana Crypt Flip. He draws and casts a Talisman of Dominance. Rhystic Study triggers, and Adam draws. Zack exiles Simeon Spirit Guide from his hand and adds a red. Zack casts Windfall. Krom triggers, and Mike draws a card. Each player discards their hand and draws five. Riel triggers, and Adam draws five more cards. He plays a Morphic Pool. Zack casts Cabal Ritual with Threshold. He makes five black. He casts Wheel of Fortune. Each player discards their hand and draws seven. He casts Mystical Tutor. Rhystic Study triggers, and Adam draws. Zack fetches up a Yogg Moss Will onto the top of his library. He casts Grinding Station. Rhystic triggers, and Adam draws. Zack activates Grinding Station, sacrificing Mana Crypt, and mills himself for three. He casts Wheel of Fortune from his graveyard through casts. Everyone discards their hands and draws seven. Unfortunately for Zack, he runs out of steam and has to pass to Mike. Mike draws and pays two life to cast Jataxian Pro, targeting Adam. Rhystic Study triggers, and Adam draws. Mike looks at Adam's hand and draws a card. He taps Talisman of Dominance to cast Dark Ritual. Rhystic triggers, and Adam draws. Mike adds three black and then plays a Morphic Pool. He follows it up by casting Cabal Ritual with Threshold, paying for Rhystic Study. Mike adds five black. He casts a Mnemonic Betrayal. The table realizes how big of a threat Betrayal is, and Adam responds by casting Swan Song. Mike responds by casting Flusterstorm with all copies targeting Swansong. Rhystic Study triggers and Adam draws. In response, Jesper hard casts Force of Will targeting Mnemonic Betrayal. Rhystic Study triggers and Adam draws again. Force counters Betrayal and Flusterstorm counters Swansong. Mike then casts Underworld Breach. In response, Jesper casts a Swansong of his own targeting Underworld Breach. Rhystic triggers and Adam draws. Breach is countered and Mike creates a 2 2 bird. With his plans dash, Mike decides to activate Tevish's second ability, sacrificing a Thrall and drawing two cards. He casts a Gilded Drake, paying for Rhystic Study. It resolves and targets Cass. Mike exchanges control of the Gilded Drake with Cass. He uses her ability to cast Chain of Vapor from his graveyard, targeting Riel. Rhystic Study triggers, and Adam draws again. Riel bounces, and Mike finally passes the turn to Adam. Adam draws and casts a Mana Crypt. He casts a Mana Vault. Krom triggers, and Mike draws. Adam activates Wishclaw Talisman, fetching a card into his hand and then giving it to Jesper. He casts an Isochron Scepter. In response, Zack casts Pact of Negation, targeting Isochron. Adam responds by casting Misdirection, exiling Riel to the command zone and changing the target of Pact to Misdirection itself. Miraculously, Zack has another answer. He casts Force of Negation, exiling Jace, Friends Prodigy, and targeting Isochron Scepter. Krom triggers and Mike draws. Rhystic Study triggers and Adam draws. In response, Adam casts Flusterstorm, with all copies targeting the Force of Negation. Flusterstorm counters Force of Negation, Misdirection redirects Pact of Negation, Pact of Negation fizzles, and Isochron Scepter resolves. Adam imprints Dramatic Reversal. He activates Isochron Scepter, casting Dramatic Reversal. 
Adam then presents a loop of producing infinite mana with the Iso Scepter combo. He casts a Felwar Stone and then generates infinite mana of all colors with the same loop. He overloads a Cyclonic Rift. His opponents bounce all of their non-land permanents to their hand. Adam casts Sensei's Divining Top. With some tricky stack manipulation, he can draw his deck with Top and Scepter. He taps Top to activate its second ability, holds priority, and then activates Icecron Scepter. Scepter casts Dramatic Reversal, and he untaps his permanents, including Top. He is then able to tap Top in response to the original activation of it. He can repeat this loop and put a number of Top activations onto the stack equal to his deck size. He uses this to draw his deck. He casts a Hull Breacher. He casts Time Twister. In response, Mike casts Force of Will, pays a life, and then exiles Krom to the command zone. Adam responds by casting Mana Drain, countering Force of Will. Time Twister resolves, everyone shuffles their hands and graveyards into their library, Adam creates 21 treasures, and then Adam draws 7 cards. He activates Thrasios to draw his deck. With a very large storm count, he casts Brain Freeze, milling all of his opponents. He passes the turn. One by one, each of Adam's opponents attempt to draw from an empty library and loses the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what an amazing game. Congratulations to Adam on his win. He was patient and went for the win right after Mike spent most of the table's interaction. His final turn was a little complicated, but that happens sometimes in CEDH. Versatile cards are a must-have in any CEDH deck. The dual capabilities of being win conditions and still having value while not winning is a key component in most CEDH staples. The most valuable card was a little more difficult to decide in this game. At first, we thought it should go to Ristic Study or Krom for the draw power. We also considered giving it to Kess for the ability to recur from the graveyard. We also considered Gilded Drake for how potent stealing a creature could be. At the end of the day, we had to give the most valuable card to Flusterstorm. A counterspell with Storm is unbelievably powerful, as each instance is a separate spell on the stack. That means if you wish to counter Flusterstorm, you have to counter each instance with a spell of your own. This raw power is what makes Flusterstorm such a powerful card. Let us know in the comments below what you think the most valuable card was. We always love hearing what you all have to say. Thanks again to Jesper for playing with us. This was another wild game we played with him, and we wouldn't have it any other way. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. You can help us out by liking, sharing, subscribing, and also supporting us on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Okay, I'd like to give a Patreon shout out to D Roach, Brad Tobin, Sanguinolency, I hope that's right, Snarps the Cleft, Matt Wingrove, Delph Driz, Josh Kovach, Dante, Baby Jesus, no, no, that's not right, Baby Jeebus, Trey Payne, Rikeko, Baskin, Zods, Noah Saldania, Wyon, Spielrahu, CZ, Taylor Colron, Corrin? Corrin? Taylor Corrin and Nick. Really appreciate it. You guys are the best.